welcome back guys i am here with you to solve this problem number 22 of csir net december 2017 right so this is a question of analysis so let us solve it now it says let a and b a sequence of real numbers satisfying these two conditions for all n greater than or equal to 1 then which of the following is necessarily true so the first one says the series summation 1 over n square diverges. Now, third one says summation 1 over a n square converges. Second one says the series sequence, not so series, the sequence a n is bounded. Now, fourth one says the series summation 1 over a n converges. Okay. Now, firstly, see what is given to you. You are given with a sequence that has its first term greater than or equal to 1. Also, you are given that a n plus 1 the next term will be greater than the uh, the preceding term by 1 okay that means a n plus 1 is greater than or equal to a n plus 1 so in order to solve questions like this what is the first strategy that you should make firstly you should see uh, so firstly you should uh, think of an example which will satisfy these two conditions if you will be able to think over an example which will satisfy these two conditions, then at least you will get a hint of this question, right? So, I will take the simplest example. I am taking a n is equal to n. Now, see, a 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, this condition is satisfied. Also, see, a n plus 1 is n plus 1. What I am saying, a n plus 1 is n plus 1, which is equal to a n plus 1. That means this condition is also satisfied. So we are done. That means this is the sequence that I can take for this question, right? Because it satisfies all the hypotheses. Now come to the first one. First one says the series summation 1 over n square. I am taking this as my example, right? So you see, this is your series. So the, your question says it diverges, right? Now I will show you a P series test. This is a very important test, important test in analysis for the series convergence. So it says a P series that is summation 1 over n to the power P converges. Okay, don't read this one. I am reading this one. A series, a P series summation 1 over n to the power P converges if and only if your P is greater than 1. This is what is given to you. Now, in this case, your P is greater than 1. That means this converges, right? Uh, converges. So this one converges. But your option says it diverges. Therefore, first one is incorrect, right? Now come to the option number two. It says the sequence a n is bounded. But you see, if you will take this as your example, but this sequence is unbounded. Therefore, second one is incorrect. Now come to the third, not the third one. I will go to the fourth one directly. The fourth one says the series summation one over a n converges. But this is wrong. Why? by just taking this as your example, right? I am taking a n to be n. So this one is diverges by P series test. So fourth one is again incorrect. You see, in your exam, if you are able to think this kind of example, then you have already discarded first, second and fourth. That means your correct answer is third. You don't need to prove third in your exam. Okay, You can do this question in exam in just one minute, right? But since I am making this video, so to make this video more informative, I will just provide you a proof for the third one that why third one is correct. But in the exam, you cannot proceed with the proof, right? Because you have less time there. You have to solve so many questions. You cannot always begin with the proof. And uh, by, by the proof, you will not have a always have a surety that you have done a correct proof. Therefore, you should always proceed by thinking of some example and then just concluding something okay right so now let us come to the third one third one says summation 1 over an a n square converges right this is what you need to prove okay now what is given to you firstly see this thing a n i will not write a n plus 1 i will write a n so a n is greater than a n minus 1 plus 1 this is what is given to you right now just take a reciprocal you will get this thing. Now let us take a whole square, both sides. You will get this thing, right? Now, in place of a n minus 1, 
if you will write okay if you will write in place of a n minus 1 if you will write using this equation okay I am saying if you will write in place of a n minus 1 if you will write a n minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 okay that means I am writing a n minus 1 in place of a n minus 1 I am writing a n minus 2 plus 1 okay will there be effect on the inequality no there will no, there will be no effect because if you will decrease the denominator okay if you will decrease the denominator then the whole quantity will actually increase so therefore inequality will have no problem with it what you have done you have placed a smaller number than a n minus 1 so this one this number is actually smaller than smaller than a n minus 1 so inequality will not be affected now I can do this okay every at every step I can do this so I can write a n minus 3 also okay initially it was 2 so now it will be 3 right now I can go go on by doing this right I don't have any problem with it so I can do this like up to a n minus a n minus 1 right now see if it is n minus 3 then you are getting 3 if it is n minus 2 then you are getting 2 if it is n minus 1 then you are getting 1 so what I have written I have written if it is not clear n minus n minus 1 this is what I have written now if it is a n minus a n minus uh, n minus 1 so what you have to add you have to add n minus 1 there okay this is a trick not a trick actually but just to see what will come there so what is this thing this thing is actually a 1 plus n minus 1 to the whole square right now a 1 is what a 1 is greater than 1 equal to 1 so you can replace 1 with it because this will make denominator smaller and thus the whole quantity will increase so you can do this so what is this thing this is 1 by n square you are getting my point or not so from here you are concluding that 1 over a n square will always be less than equal to 1 over a n uh, 1 over n square now use this comparison test what it says that if a n is less than b n then summation a n is also less than summation b n that means summation a n square is also less than equal to some i will erase this thing so then summation a n square is also less than summation n square right you are getting my point or not now it says thus summation b n converges will imply summation a n converges now you know by p series test that this thing converges so by comparison test you will get to know that this thing also converges so this is the proof that why the summation 1 over a n square actually converges okay so this is the process how we can prove this that this thing that summation 1 over a n square converges but still in the exam it will take little uh, four to five minutes to prove this thing to you okay so i will always suggest that always use these type of counter example in order to uh, do question in exam if you will stuck uh, of thinking the counter example then you can proceed with the proof right so thank you guys